because of why I search the deep through endless nights, no time to sleep. The call inside, I can't deny. I'll find the light because of why. Hey everyone, and welcome. Today, we're diving into a really cool natural mystery the famous pink sand beaches of Bermuda. Let's get right into what's really behind that iconic color. So you've probably seen the pictures online, right? These incredible shores that just seem to blush a perfect pink. But is it just a camera filter or maybe a trick of the light? Well, the real answer is actually way more fascinating than you might think. All right, so the secret behind this whole thing isn't some huge geological event. Nope, the answer lies with something incredibly, incredibly small. That's right. The famous pink sand is actually made by a living creature. It's not just random crushed shells like you might guess, but the remains of a very specific single-celled organism that just loves the waters around Bermuda. Okay, so these little guys are called foraminifera, or foramps, which is way easier to say. They're basically these unique life forms that aren't quite an animal, not quite a plant, and what they do is build these amazing little shells, which are called tests, out of calcium carbonate, the same stuff coral reefs are made of. And the real star of the show is a species called Homotrema rubrum. This particular foram builds a vibrant red shell. It spends its life attached to the underside of coral reefs, and when it dies, that red shell is the key ingredient that mixes with the white sand, creating that famous pink hue. So we know these tiny red shells are hanging out on the reef, but how in the world do they become these huge, beautiful beaches? Well, it's quite a journey from the reef to the shore. Here's how it happens. First, the forms die. Their little red shells then fall to the ocean floor. From there, the constant churning of waves and tides washes them toward the coast. Finally, all those tiny red fragments get mixed in with the regular white sand, and voila, you get that beautiful pink color. Now, the waves are a huge part of the story, for sure, but it's not the whole story. There's another key player in this whole process, and I guarantee you're not expecting this one. Say hello to the parrotfish. This colorful guy isn't just nice to look at. It's actually a crucial part of Bermuda's sand-making factory. Yep, you are reading that correctly. One of the biggest secrets to Bermuda's pink sand is fish poop. I know it sounds funny, but it is an absolutely vital part of the whole ecosystem. So here's how it works. Parrotfish use their super strong beaks to scrape algae off of coral. While they're doing that, they also scrape up those little foraminifera. They digest all the organic stuff, but the hard, indigestible red shells, those pass right through and come out the other side as fine grains of sand. They are literally pooping out new pink sand every single day. Okay, so we know what makes the sand pick, but if you're thinking of booking a trip based on some of the pictures you see online, it's probably a good idea to manage expectations. Let's talk about what you'll actually see. A lot of the photos you see online have been edited to look almost neon, like an electric Barbie pink. The reality is much more subtle and honestly, even more beautiful. It's not this overwhelming color. It's more like a gentle, warm blush that just gives the whole coastline this amazing glow. And here's a pro tip for you. If you want to see the sand at its absolute pinkest, you've got to go during the golden hour. That warm, soft light at sunrise and sunset really makes those pink tones pop. It's just magical. So where should you go? Your best bet is to head for Bermuda South Shore. The coral reefs, where our little red foram friends live, are way closer to the coast there. That means more red shells wash ashore. The top spots are definitely Horseshoe Bay Beach, Warwick Long Bay, and Church Bay. Now, this natural wonder isn't just beautiful, it's also incredibly delicate. And the very same tiny organisms that create the pink sand are now facing a really big threat. The main danger here is something called ocean acidification. It's a direct result of our changing climate, and it hits right at the very source of how this pink sand is even made. You see, as the ocean absorbs more CO2 from the air, the water actually becomes more acidic. This makes it a lot harder for creatures like the foraminifera to build their calcium carbonate shells. In fact, if it gets too acidic, those delicate little shells can start to dissolve which threatens the entire supply of Bermuda's pink sand. 
Okay, let's bring it all home. We've gone from these microscopic organisms all the way to a world-famous landmark and the science that connects them. So, just to recap what we've learned, the pink color comes from the red shells of Foraminifera. Our friend the parrotfish is a sand-making superstar. The color is a really subtle, beautiful blush, especially at sunrise and sunset. And most importantly, this entire beautiful ecosystem is fragile and at risk from ocean acidification. It's just a powerful reminder, isn't it, that a tiny, single-celled creature just living its life can create a landscape so breathtaking that it becomes the symbol of an entire country. Pretty wild. So that makes me wonder, what natural wonders have just completely blown your mind? Drop a comment below and let us know. And hey, if you had fun with this deep dive, please do us a huge favor and like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss what we uncover next. Thanks so much for joining us to get to the bottom of this beautiful mystery. We'll see you in the next one.